Eric from Connasounds.com. I think I'm going to do a little Xcode uh, tutorial. Basically, iPhone SDK tutorial. And I'm kind of I'm going basic here, but I don't want to go too basic because people get bored when, when you just do something that's so simple. So I'm going to do something that will get you started pretty quickly and and uh, so just kind of follow along and let me know what you think at the end so first thing of course is you're gonna launch Xcode and if you haven't downloaded it it requires a Macintosh and an Intel Macintosh and it's free once you've downloaded and installed it then just launch it and this will be the first screen you get and if, as you can see on the on the right side over here, there's a lot of. Well, I've been playing around with a lot of apps, so it's kind of funny names here. That name, PPP, LL, GGG, one, two, three, just kind of messing around. So basically, what you want to do is just create a new Xcode project, and you will be shown this screen right here. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure you you choose the product you want and uh, it should be set on application iPod iPhone OS application and iPhone if you're gonna do an iPhone app or iPad if you're gonna do an iPad app but we'll do iPhone and iPhone app so Apple is nice enough to give you some starting points here and uh, my favorite of all these starting points is the tab bar application so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on this or you could just click choose, so I'll double click to get it going here. It's going to ask you to name it, so I'm just going to name it you, YouTube. And hit save. And it, go, it basically creates kind of a framework for you of, of, an app, of a tab bar application. So what I do is I make the screen bigger. I pull this bar up here. And then I expose the classes and the resources folders. So these are the things you're going to need most. Um, before we do anything else, let's go ahead and build and run it and see what Apple gave us with this nice starter app. They were nice enough to give us a little tab bar app that has two control view controllers. The first view controller and the second view controller. So, before we start doing anything else, let's let's go in and mess around and, and change the look of this thing. So I'm gonna quit this, and I'm gonna open up the first view controller. So go here, double click here, and you will have the first screen that you saw once it loads. This here is the interface builder. You have the library. You have the um, what is this thing called? The inspector. This thing here is called the inspector. And then you just have a, I don't even know what you call this thing, just a window. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and uh, mess around with this. We'll delete all this. We'll delete this whole thing here. And then we'll change the background color to, hmm, well, we'll just make it like, like a bluish. Now we'll go this color. Okay, then we'll hit save. And close this and save it. Then close this window here. We'll open up the second one. Do the same thing. We'll delete that and we'll change the background color to green, bright green, I guess. Nah, I'll we'll do orange. Do orange. That's good. Okay, so I'll save that and we'll close out of here. Now let's build and run it see what we got oh miraculously we have it we have changed the color and we have deleted some test text so you, you can see you got the basics of some things going on here but this is only two tab buttons on the bottom and I want to make an app with four or more well, max would probably be five but I'm gonna put four on this one so let's go ahead and quit this and uh, let me show you how to add two more what you're gonna do is click on this classes folder here and then right click 
and add new file. So what this is going to do is pull up this screen here and leave it on UI View Controller subclass. We're not going to target for the iPad and we're not we don't care about any table view controller subclass stuff, so we're just going to make sure it does create a new XIB file, which is called a nib file. And we'll hit next, and we'll name it third view controls. Third. And let me go ahead and um, keep the convention of spelling. I mean, of capitalization. Capital. T in the third, capital V in the view, capital C in the controller. Okay, so we've done that. We, it's created three files, a third view controller.h, third view controller.m, and a third view controller.xib, which is pronounced nib. So what you're going to do is you're going to drop this nib file down into the resources underneath, uh, anywhere you want in second. I put it under a second to keep everything kind of organized. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing again. Create another, add, right click, hit add new file, and we'll call this one, same thing, same settings. Fourth view controller. Okay. Same thing. We'll drop the nib down here, the XIB file down here. So now we have first, second, third, and fourth. <coughs> So that's pretty easy so far. Now we gotta open up the interface builder and add some buttons and connect the buttons to these new uh, nib files that we created. Okay, so let's go ahead and double click on the main view window.xib to open up the interface builder. So once the main window.xib file loads in the interface builder this is what you're gonna have you're gonna have a white window here and then you can have the tab bar control itself here so go ahead and close this white window thing here we don't need it and we're gonna look at this tab view controller uh, tab bar controller I should say so the, the two buttons are here the first and the second you notice and you notice when you click on the first it says view loaded from first view Okay, so if we, let me do a little explaining here. Uh, it is loading this nib file here, the first view, and you click on the second button it'll, button, it'll load the second view here, the nib file. So now we want to add two more buttons, and we want to load the third view controller and the fourth view controller.xib files. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're back here. Now let me close this view here. Okay, so we have first and we have second. Now we need to add some buttons. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom and find a tab bar item. So just drag and drop this to the third. And we're going to drag one more for the fourth position. So once you click on it here, if you look over in your um, inspector thing here, click on the first tab, you can actually... name it or you can double double click here and name it here so you know this I'll name it here for one so third enter and it should load it there oops it didn't there we go let's try that again T H I R D third okay now for the fourth I'll just double click on this one here F O U R T H fourth okay so now we have third and fourth, so we have first is loading the first view, second is loading the second view, third is loading nothing, fourth is loading nothing. So let's change that. So click on the third, and in the first tab here, you'll see nib name. And remember when I said that the XI beast uh, here is pronounced nib. So this is what, there's some kind of ink inconsistencies in Xcode that go back to the next step operating system that Steve Jobs did way back in the day but that's a long story that I won't get into but it, it helps to know that XIB stands for nib and uh, sometimes you'll get confused because you think what is nib I don't know all I see is XIB I don't see nib but basically they're identical so now we're back we're on the third button here yeah 
and nib, we're just going to click the drop down and load third view controller. And we'll do the same thing for the fourth. Uh, fourth view controller. Okay. Now we'll actually just file and save. Okay. So let's go ahead and quit out of this and go back into Xcode. And we'll build and run before we do anything else, just to kind of look. So now we have first, second, third, and fourth. So third and fourth have absolutely nothing in their views. But we're going to go ahead and change that. But at least we know that it appears that something is, has happened. We've renamed it, and it looks like it's loading a white, plain white view or window. So let's quit that, and we're going to go ahead and start with a third, a third view controller and this window here let's make it look different so we'll uh, change the background color to maroon and we'll drop a little label in here just to kinda give you some more a little bit of more of a tutorial we'll center it using the guidelines change the label to third oops And we'll even bump up the font. Just click on this font thing here. And let's make it 64. There we go. That's good enough. And we'll save it by Command S or go up into the under the file and hit save. And we'll quit that. And let's build and run just to kind of show you what happened there. So now we have first, second, and third is loaded yay so let's go ahead in and do the fourth one while we're here quit and double click on the fourth view controller that xib which is nib and we'll do something similar we'll change the background color to super bright green and we'll drop a label in here as well which yeah we'll of course name fourth okay and Center it up and we'll change it. We'll put 96 or something, yeah, something huge. And we'll do fourth, that's good enough. And let's change the font color, text color to white, that's good enough. Okay, and then we'll hit save and we'll quit and let's load it up. first, second, third, and fourth. So you see we've created an app. Well, we're on the, in the process of creating it. It's, it. It is an app, but it doesn't really do anything. So we have a tab bar app with four views, basically. And each view can be you know, programmed to do anything. It could be just a web page. It could be just pictures. It could be just text. It can be, you know, a timer, buttons, it can be lots of stuff. So, But for now, I think we'll stop here, and this will be the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in checking out my app, you can head over to kanasounds.com. That's K-A-N-A-S-O-U-N-D-S.com. And check it out. Bye-bye.